Okay. Good day once again, guys. So, for this day, we'll be talking about review of related literature. But before that, we know how, uh, we should know how important is review of literature. So, um, what do we mean by review of related literature and so, the review of literature and studies involves on the critiquing or looking over again what other researchers have done in the relation to the present study. So, this will enlighten the researcher to focus and objectives of her study. So, according to Tejero of 2004, no one has yet written a thesis or dissertation worthy of its name without undertaking a good literature search of review. So, to do so, we have here the definition or the old definition of the RRL. So, the RRL is the selection and annotation of available documents. So, it can be both published or unpublished. So, this also contains the information, the ideas, the data, and evidence related to the topic that a person proposes to research on. Another is, review of literature is composed of discussion of facts and principles to which the present study is related. Related studies, on the other hand, are studies inquiries or investigation already conducted to which the present proposed study is related or has some bearing or similarity so there are two ways of looking at rrl as you can see in your screen first is that the review of related literature or we call it rrl is an important component of the research process and the research itself so there were there are two ways on looking on the RRL. First is from the point of view of the researcher and another is from the point of view of the reader. What's really the purpose? First, it helps shape the research. Second, earlier study can help you identify a research problem. Third is, it broaden your knowledge in the research area. Lastly, it provides important clues or leads to help you determine the topic of inquiry. So this is for the, from the point of view of the researcher. It also shows what is already known versus what needs to be known. Another is provides the foundation and justification of your research problem. Helps you framing the valid research methodology, approach, goals, and research question for your study. And it also provides clues or leads with regards to the theoretical framework and the methodological, methodological approach. From the point of view of the reader, the purpose of RRL is to provide the bigger picture of your topic. Another is share with the reader of the results of other studies that are closely related to the proposed study. And it also relates to the proposed study to the ongoing conversation of the topic. Another is it provides the, re the reader a benchmark for comparing your studies and it helps the reader identify and appreciate the value added information of your study originally. So, the review of literature is divided into two parts. First is the professional literature and the second is the related study. So, all related ideas, the concepts, the theories, and principles are to be reviewed to support the investigation of what topic that you have been chosen as, as the researcher's perspective. So, the term related in the title is deleted because all review literature has significant relationship or have a direct bearing on the investigation. So, professional literature comes from published materials like books, journals, magazine, pamphlets, etc. While related studies are from unpublished materials like thesis, 
research reports, and dissertations. So some writers prefer to review the literature first before framing the introduction and theoretical framework as well, the statement of the problem, the scope, the limitation, and the research methodology. So I think that's all for this afternoon and don't look don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the bell notification bell for your updates again thank you and good afternoon